Hello students, today we are going to start chapter 9, ratio. So before we start the chapter, let me explain to you what is ratio. So students, ratio is the quantitative relation between two amounts showing the number of times one value contain or is to contain within the other. So students, we use this symbol as ratio and this is also called as is to. Well, we are going to do the sum, okay? And when we are going to find the ratio, we will make them into a fraction. That is numerator by denominator, okay? So here, for example, 2 by 3, okay? So when we are going to make them into a ratio, then it will be 2 is to 3. So this is the example of the ratio, okay? So students, now we are going to do exercise 9.1, question number 1. A, 18 kg to 100 kg, okay? So since both are in kg, so we will use as it is, okay? So now, we are going to find the ratio, so we'll make them into a fraction, okay? So 18 kg by 108 kg, okay? So kg, kg cancel, and you cancel it by 2, okay? 2, 9, zero, 18. 2 5 are 10, 2 4 are 8, okay? 9 1 are 9 and 9 6 are 54. And the fraction we got here, 1 by 6. And we are going to make them into a ratio, then it will be 1 is to 6. So this is the answer of this question. So now students, we are going to do B, question number B, okay? 40 minutes to 28 seconds, okay? So this minute, we need to convert into seconds, okay? So in a, in one minute, there there is sixty second. Okay, so this minute we need to convert into a second. So here, forty into. So if we convert this minute into a second, then it will be sixty second. Okay, so now here, two twenty eight second. So here. 40 into 60, it will be 2,400 second to 28 second. And then, since we, now we got here second and even here also second, so we'll make them into a fraction, okay? So here, 2,400 second by 28 second, okay? 28 second. So second second cancel it. Now two ones are two, two four are eight. Two ones are two, two twos are four, zero zero. And here two seven are fourteen. Two six are twelve, zero zero again. Now we cannot cut, so we got a fraction here. Six hundred by seven. So if we convert into a ratio, then it will be six hundred is to seven. So this is the answer of this question. So now students, we will do Question number two, express the following ratio in their simplest form. That is the question number A is 14 is to 49. Okay, so first we will make them into a fraction. Fraction that is 14 by 49. 7 twos are 14, 7 sevens are 49. So now 2 by 7 and then you make it the, this fraction into a ratio, okay. So 2 is to 7. So this is the answer of this question. Now question number B, okay? 6 is to 32. First we'll make them into a fraction like before. Fraction. It is 6 by 32. 2 3 is a 6. 2 1 is 2 6. We cannot cancel again. So it we got a fraction this and then we make them into a ratio. 3 is to 16. So this is the answer of this question. Now we are going to do question number 3a, okay? 80 pies to rup rupees 2, okay? So in 1 rupees, there is 100 pies, okay? So this rupees, we will convert this into pies. That is 80 pies, comma, and then 2 into 100. Now it will be pies, okay? This rupees we have already converted into a pi, so it will be 100, okay? 2 into 100. So it will be 80 pi. 2 into 100 will be 200 pi. Okay? 
So now, you make them into a fraction like before and we'll find out the ratio. That is 80 pi by 200 pi. Okay, pi pi you cancel it and 1010 one, zero, you cancel it. 2408 zero, 210 zero, 2 to the 4 and 250 10. So we got a fraction 2 by 5 and we make them into a ratio it will be 2 is 2 5. So this is the answer of this question. So now we will do question number B. That is 50 meter comma 1 kilometer. So in 1 kilometer we have 1000 meter okay if you convert 1 kilometer then it will be 1000 meter okay so now here 50 meter comma so 1 kilometer if you convert into a meter it will be 1 into 1000 meter okay so 50 meter 1 into 1000 it will be 1000 meter so first like before we will make them into a fraction so it will be 50 meter by 1000 meter okay so meter meter cancel it one zero one zero cancel it five one zero five five two zero ten zero and we got a fraction one by twenty and if we make them into a ratio it will be one is to twenty so this is the answer of this question so now we are going to do question number four a two is two three and the question is find two equivalent ratio of the following ratio equivalent means here the numerator and the denominator denominator should be same okay so here fraction so we will convert this ratio into a fraction that is 2 by 3 so equivalent we are going to find the equivalent so that means we have to multiply both sides by the same number okay that is if we are going to multiply by 2 then we, in the denominator also we have to multiply by 2 okay it's you can take any number okay you can take 3 you can take 4 okay but if you are taking that number you have to take that number in the denominator also okay so now I have taken here 2 so 2 to 0 4 and then here 3 to 0 6 okay next one we got 1 here and then number 2 2 fraction 2 equivalent ratio okay so now 2 by 3 now next next we can take any number so for example I will take here 3 okay 2 3 zero, 6 and 3 to zero, 9 so this is the answer of this question so now here we are going to do question number B 5 is to 4 okay so we're going to find two equivalent ratio okay so first we'll make them into a fraction that is 5 is to 4 okay so when we are going to find a two equivalent ratio so here you have to multiply both sides by the same number so I will take here 2 so I even here also I have to multiply by 2 okay so here 5 to 0 10 and 4 to 0 8 this is 1 and another one is 5 by 4 and you, you can take it 3 also okay you can take any number so 5 3 zero, 15 and 4 3 zero, 12 so this is the answer of this question so now we are going to do question number 5a okay so my dear students in this question number 5 we have different colored fish okay number of red fish is 3 number of red yellow fish is 6 number of white fish is 4 number of black fish is 2 and the total number of fish is 15 okay all the number all the total numbers of fish is here 15 okay so first question number of yellow fish to the number of white fish okay so here in the quotient we are going to find the ratio okay in order to find the ratio we need to make them into a fraction first okay now we are going to make them into a fraction okay that is number of white fish number of yellow fish is 6 and number of white fish is 4 and if we cancel then you will get here 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 and then we have to make them into a ratio now the ratio will be 3 is 2 2 okay so next question is number b numbers of black fish to the number total number of fish so in this question here number of black fish black fish is given here 2 and total number of fish is here 15 okay so here we need to make them into a fraction that is 2 by 15 we cannot cancel it out so we we'll convert them into a ratio okay so ratio will be 2 is to 15 so this is the answer of this question 
Now we are going to do question number six. The ratio of maths and science book in a school library is four is to five. If the number of science book is seventy five, find the number of maths book. So now here we'll assume the ratio of each book be x. Okay. So let the ratio of maths book b for x and science book b 5x okay so here as per the question here if the number of science book is 75 so science book is 75 so the science the ratio of science book is here given here 5x 5x equal to 75 so x so 5 will come into the denominator that is here so if we divide you will get here 5 ones of 5 2 5 5 0 25 so you will get here 15 therefore the ratio of maths book will be it's 4x so x value we got here what 15 and 4 into 4 into 15 is 60 okay so this is the answer of this question so now we are going to do question number 7 compare the given ratio number a 3 is to 7 and 5 is to 9 so we're going to compare which one is smaller and which one is larger so now here these two ratio we need to make them into a fraction okay so 3 by 7 and 5 by 9 so we will take out the LCM of these two fraction LCM of 7 and 9 so the LCM will be 7 1 to 7 9 and here so 7 9 0 63 okay so now here 3 by 7 into 7 how much is 63? 7 9 are 63 so here 9 so you have to write it here even the numerator you have to write 9 so 3 9 are 27 and here 7 9 are 63 okay and the next ratio is 5 by 9 and then here 9 how much is 63? 9 7 are 63 so we got here 7 so in the numerator side also you have to write it 7 so 5 7 are 35 and 9 7 are 63 so comparing the this two fraction this fraction is larger right so 35 63 is larger than 27 by 63 so the ratio will be here 5 is to 9 is greater than 3 is to 7 so this is the answer of this question so we will do question number b so even this also we need to make them into a fraction okay so 2 by 5 and 4 by 11 okay so here the lcm of 5 and 11 you will get here 55 okay so 2 by 5 and 5 how much are 55 5 11 are 55 so we have written here 11 so in the numerator set also you have to write here 11 so 2 11 are 22 and 5 11 are 55 okay so now we'll write the next fraction that is 4 by 11 into here again 11 how much are 55 11 5 are 55 so we, it, we have to write here 5 okay so 4 5 are 20 and here 11 5 are 55 so comparing to this two ratio i'll write it here so 22 by 55 is greater than 20 by 55 okay so here the ratio will be 2 is to 5 is greater than 4 is to 11 so this is the answer of this question so now we will do question number 8 in a garden there are 24 sunflowers out of 80 flowers in another garden there are 80 sunflowers out of 110 flowers which garden has a greater ratio of sunflowers okay so in this question there are two garden okay we will just assume that there are two garden garden a and garden b okay so in garden a there are 24 sunflowers out of out of 80 flowers okay and in garden b there are 80 sunflower out of 110 flowers okay so here even there even here also we're going to find the greater greater ratio of the sunflower which garden has a 
greater ratio of sunflowers okay so here even here also we will have to find out the LCM of these two garden okay LCM of 80 and 110 so LCM is here 880 okay so we'll write the first fraction and then here 80 how much are 880 80 11 there 880 okay so 11 we got here and then even here in the numerator side also we have to write it what 800 in the numerator side also we have to write 11 okay so 80 11 there 880 and then here 24 into 11 is 264 okay now and the next fraction is 80 by 110 okay so here 110 how much are 880 it is 8 okay so here in the denominator you have got here 8 so in the numerator also we have to write it 8 okay so 80 into 8 is 640 and 110 into 8 is 880 so comparing to these two fraction which one is greater 640 by 880 is greater than 264 by 880 okay so now we know that 80 by 110 is greater than 24 by 80 okay so now here which garden has a greater ratio here garden b right now so here garden b is greater than garden a garden b is greater than garden a okay so this is the answer of this question so students if you have any doubt you can comment in doubt below okay thank you